hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new please kindly subscribe have you ever imagined yourself getting up getting ready for the day to drive around town you get inside your car you started the car and all you see on your dash was a warning light and that warning light to tire pressure a lot yes a tire pressure monitoring system a lot for many people having this kind of uh, warning a lot on your car can be really concerning because this indicates that you have uh, a low pressure in your tire and this can create an unsafe driving condition for the car especially knowing that your tire is under inflated it's low on pressure and it can cause an undue tear and wear and even a possible tire failure when you're driving it and in this video i will show you how you can avoid ever having a low tire pressure a lot on your dash and all you need is to install this product and this is a wireless tire pressure monitoring system sent to me by vsafe and what this device does is to give you real-time accurate reading of the pressures in all your tires like it says right now i have a light on my dash it does not actually tell me which tire exactly is having a, a low pressure even if i physically inspect the tires i might still not be able to determine which tire is actually low on pressure but with this product it's going to give me a real time and accurate reading of all the pressure so as i've mentioned this is a uh, it's wireless tire pressure monitoring system from uh, vsafe and the product box contains an anti-skid pad which can be placed on a dash of the car you know uh, this prevent the monitoring system from sliding off while you're driving and here is the display monitor and this uh, is a cute little display monitor with an inbuilt um, battery and a solar panel and what this solar panel does is to help you charge the battery this is uh, built in there you don't need to uh, charge it it's charged with the sunlight and all you just have to discharge it one time and then you're good to go and the product also include um, four sensor monitors that goes on all your tires and give you real-time reading of the tire pressures and also include as an uh, accessories to um, help the installation easier and smooth and it also include um, a manual that you can read and follow now if you're wondering is it a good idea to have one of this device installed in a car I would say yes because one it gives you peace of mind while you're driving on the road because the data from the pressure of your tires have been transferred in real time to the monitor you can see all the pressure so you have more comfortability of driving your car around another advantage is that the life of your tire will be extended because you will be able to properly monitor the pressures and make sure that your tire are balanced at all time and also it will enhance the performance of your vehicle a vehicle with an uh, under inflated tire would need more fuel to make it um, move faster so with this it's going to help you keep the pressure at, in check at all time and also reduce your gas mileage this product comes with an installation manual that's going to help guide you on how to properly install it and to turn it on all you have to do is to press the left arrow button down hold it down and the monitoring device will come up and you can see as it's on it has a beautiful display the unit have a pre-configured values which you can reconfigure um, to your own desired value all you have to do is to click on the configuration button and do and set the details to your desired values
once the desired configuration is reached all you have to do is to hold and press down the configuration button to save it now moving on with the installation uh, i will be putting the anti-skip pad right on the dash board over there and the function of this is just to hold the display monitor in place so it doesn't skid off when you're driving a car Now with the monitor turned on and placed on the dashboard, it's already giving me an alert and this is a low pressure alert that I have zero pressure on all my tire and this is because I have yet to install the sensors on all the tires so this device is actually working as it should. So um, tire monitor sensors, they are actually labeled to which side of the tires they're going to be installed on. and and there are also accessories that comes um, with the product for installation of the sensor properly. Included in the product is also a quick guide on how to install the sensors in all your tires. Next thing I have to show you now is how to install them on all your tires. So let's do that. At your tire, first thing you want to do is to remove the valve stem cover if you have one. And um, depending on the side of your car, um, this is my right side and I'm starting with the right front. So you will look at the sensor that you actually need. I'm gonna be needing the RF, that's the right front sensor. And uh, before I put a sensor, I need to put the dust cover and then protecting the sensor and also uh, an anti-theft nut that I'm going to be putting on the sensor but because I have um, a wheel cover I just want to take it off so I can show you guys properly on how to install um, I place my anti-theft nut on it inside the sensor you're going to see there's a black gasket um, this blast gasket has to be placed in the sensor to prevent it from leaking and once that is done you turn the sensor on it and use the wrench provided to tighten the anti-theft nut this nut will prevent anybody from being able to remove the sensor and steal it and after that is done you have to use a soapy water or windex to test if there's any leak and if there's no leak all you have to go ahead is to use the dust cover to protect the sensor from dust and with that you are all done with the installation so let me go in the car now and show you what pressure is actually showing on the monitor so right now on the monitor uh, it's showing that uh, i have a pressure of 30, 30 36 psi uh, in that tire and uh, this is actually a good one so I'll, after installing that i will just go ahead and install um, the sensors on the remaining three tires yeah, after installing all the batteries i'm already hearing a beep in the car an alarm up for it's already an alarm in the car of a uh, little pressure you see i still have the tire telling me got a little low pressure and at the same time already having an alarm in the car I don't think you can see this but it already telling me my right rear you can see my right rear is having a low pressure pressure 17 so if you've seen the live demonstration of uh, the alarm going off uh, that means this device is actually working so for you to acknowledge the alarm you just have to press any button so now i just have to go out and put some pressure on the tire and fix it so this is my right rear tire the right back tire this is the one that's giving um, the alarm that is low so all i have to do is to take the sensor off 
but you cannot just remove the sensor you have to um, remove the anti-theft nut first because um, the sensor will not come off without removing the nut that's only the downside of this thing before you do anything you have to make sure you take off that nut first before you can take the sensor off I have a portable pump that I'm actually going to be using to put um, pressure back in the tire and it's set to uh, preset it to 32 psi that I'm going to be putting in the tire. So now the pressure is at 32 psi, it's shut off, now I just take it off and I reinstall the sensor back in the tire and um, cover everything up and go show you what I have on my dash now. So getting back in the car, you can see I have a PSI of 33 and in my rear tire now, so there's no more alarm going off on, on the device. And if you look at my dash, the tire pressure warning light has also gone off. So this is actually working. I've been able to demonstrate to you on how this device works. This is actually a good device. Thank you VSAVE, I appreciate this and this device would definitely give me a piece of my driving around and I'll put the link to purchase it in the description box below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again sometime. Bye.